In this part, we will solve only one problem appeared in GATE 1999 exam. Let's read the problem. In a certain application, four inputs A, B, C and D, both true and complemented forms available, are fed to logic circuit producing an output F which operates a relay. The relay turns on when F is equal to 1 for the following states of the inputs. These are the states for which F is equal to 1. It states 1, 0, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0, 1 do not occur. It means they are don't cares and for the remaining states the relay is off. This means F is equal to 0. Minimize F with the help of Carnot map and realize it using a minimum number of three input NAND gates. This is very interesting problem. First we will minimize the function f, then I will implement it using minimum number of three input NAND gates. Implementation is little bit different. We have to follow a certain approach to implement it using three input NAND gates. But first we will try to complete this truth table. In this truth table we have four variables a, b, c, d. a is the msb and d is the lsb as we have four variables there are 16 combinations and now i will complete the column for f using the information given in the problem f is equal to 1 when a b c d are 0 0 0 0 it means for first case f is equal to 1 then we have 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 for this f is equal to 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 then we have 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 then we have 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 and the final state is 1 1 1 0 for which the output f is equal to 1 and when f is equal to 1 when f is equal to 1 this will turn on the relay and when f is equal to 0 this will turn off the relay. States 1, 0, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0, 1 are the don't cares. So I will put a cross mark in front of these two states and for the remaining states the relay is off. It means f is equal to 0. For all the remaining states f is equal to 0. We will make 16 cell k map because we have four variables. I will quickly make 16 cell k map. Once we have our k map, we will fill it using the truth table. F is 1, 0, 1, 0 for the first four cases. So we have 1, 0, 1, 0. Then we have 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. After this, there is don't care, don't care, 0, 0 don't care don't care 0 0 and for the last four cases f is 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 now I will make the groups in the first group I will combine this one like this let's call it P1 in the second group I will combine this one like this let's call it P2 and in the third group I will combine these two ones like this let's call it p3 so function f is equal to p1 or p2 or p3 p1 is equal to a complement b complement d complement p2 is equal to b c complement d or p3 is equal to b c d complement this is the minimized function and our answer now we have to implement this function using minimum number of three input NAND gates as I have already explained in one of the lectures whenever you have to implement the logic function by using the NOR gates NOR gates try to obtain pos form and whenever you have to implement any logic function using NAND gates try to obtain SOP form we have SOP form and we have to implement it using NAND gate so everything is fine we will move to the implementation part I will find out F complement and its complement F complement and its complement is equal to F so there is no change to the function but we can use this property to implement the function using the 
NAND gates A complement B complement D complement or B C complement D or B C D complement its whole complement and its complement again I will use De Morgan's law and process the inner whole complement after this I have A complement B complement D complement its complement and B C complement D its complement and B C D complement its complement this OR operator will now change to AND and there is one whole complement I can easily implement this by using the three input NAND gates in the first NAND gate the three inputs the three inputs are A complement B complement D complement the output is simply A complement B complement D complement and its whole complement this term you can see as the output of the first NAND gate in the same way in the same way we will implement uh, this term using the second NAND gate B C complement D and I will implement this last term using the third NAND gate B C D complement and uh, the output of these three NAND gates will now go to another three input NAND gate like this and it is equal to F you can easily calculate it it is equal to function F and we are using four three input NAND gates to implement the function F so the answer is four three input NAND gates I am directly using the complement of the variables because in the problem it is given that true and complement forms are available so we don't have to obtain A complement, B complement, C complement or D complement by using the NAND gate we have this values so we can directly use them I will end this lecture here this was very interesting problem and this is the new thing that we have learned in this lecture so try to note it somewhere so that you can revise it before your exams I will end this lecture here see you in the next one